That's right. So we spoke to Arkansas State Chief Communications Officer Bill Smith to bring you everything one needs to know before you head out the door to First National Bank Arena this Saturday. With two ceremonies taking place on Saturday, one in the morning and the other in the afternoon, Smith says come prepared. So we want to remind everybody to make sure to check the website to see which session your college is so that you don't show up at the 10 o'clock and your graduate is at the 2.30 or vice versa. Pack your patience. Smith says if you are not attending commencement, you might want to avoid Red Wolf Boulevard and East Johnson Avenue. Now parking will be available at First National Bank Arena, residential lots, and surrounding parking lots across campus. You can expect to see thousands of people flowing in and out of First National Bank Arena's parking lots. And of course, with the two sessions, there'll be drivers leaving from the 10 o'clock and coming in for the 2.30. So we will have great assistance from Jonesboro Police Department and University Police. And Tickets for graduation are not required, but only clear bags will be allowed inside the arena. Those without a clear bag will be sent back to their vehicle. Clear bag policy is in effect, just as it is for any other concert or sporting event at Arkansas State. If we have rain, there'll be no parking on the grass surfaces. So you need to plan ahead to get here a little early if it's raining. Almost 2,000 Arkansas State students are set to graduate, with some traveling far and stepping on campus for the first time as they walk across the stage. We have a remarkable number of our online students that make a pilgrimage to Jonesboro to be able to cross the stage from California to Maine and have that opportunity to feel their full Red Wolf pride by getting their degree right here in Jonesboro. Now to view a complete list of all the graduation events taking place this Saturday on campus, you can visit this story on our website, kjnbtv.com. Sarah Doe, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.